Hey guys, um, we're going to come back with another video here. And uh, before I start, I just want to, uh, you know, say a prayer for uh, all the uh, people in Ukraine um, and, uh, and all the U.S. military that's being sent over there um, to aid them. I hope them uh, uh, safety and um, and I just hope that you know they can res resolve this um, and if they can't then then uh, it looks like uh, you know there might be some battle you know so I'll go ahead and say a quick prayer for uh, Ukraine and, and U.S. and all their troops and, and civilians. Um, dear Heavenly Father, uh, I just want to uh, pray that uh, that you uh, give counsel to all the people in charge all over the world, and. Um, and keep keep the soldiers and the civilians in this line of fire safe and um, and pray I pray to you that uh, you can uh, you have this I know you have the strength to uh, resolve this conflict uh, as peacefully as possible so uh, I pray to you that uh, that 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 happens um, in Jesus name I pray amen all right, uh, let's go ahead and dive into another chapter. Let's go ahead and start with Genesis chapter 46. Uh, I'll give you guys some time to take your Bibles out and uh, we can go ahead and get started. All right, Genesis chapter 46. Jacob's journey to Egypt. So Jacob set out for Egypt with all his possessions, and when he came to Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the, to the God of his father, Isaac. During the night, God spoke to him in a vision. Jacob, Jacob, he called. Here I am. Jacob replied, I am God, the God of your father. The voice said, Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make your family into a great nation. I will go with you down to Egypt and I will bring you back again. You will die in Egypt, but Joseph will be with you to close your eyes. So Jacob left Beersheba and his sons took him to Egypt. They carried him and their little ones and their wives in the wagons Pharaoh had provided for them. They also took all their livestock and all the personal belongings they had acquired in the land of Canaan. So Jacob and his entire family went to Egypt, sons and grandsons, daughters and granddaughters, all his descendants. These are the names of the descendants of Israel, the sons of Jacob who went to Egypt. Reuben was Jacob's oldest son. The sons of Reuben were Hanuk, Palu, Hezron, and Carmine. The sons of Simeon were Jamul, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal. Shal's mother was a Canaanite woman. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Judah were Ur, Onan, Shela, Perez, and Zerah, though Ur and Onan had died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamu. The sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Joshub, and Shimron. The sons of Zebulun were Sarad, Elon, and Jaleel. These were the sons of Leah and Jacob who were born in Padanaram. In addition to their daughter, Dina, the number of Jacob's descendants, male and female, through Leah was 33. The sons of God were Zephon, Haji, Shuni, Esbon, Eri, Arodi, and Ereli. The sons of Asher were Emna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Bariah. Their sister was Sarah. 
Pariah sons were Heber and Malkiel. These were the sons of Zilpah, the servant given to Leah by her father. Laban, the number of Jacob's descendants through Zilpah, was sixteen. The sons of Jacob's wife, Rachel, were Joseph and Benjamin. Joseph's sons, born in the land of Egypt, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Their mother was Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. Benjamin's sons were Bela, Beaker, Ashbel, Jerah, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Mupim, Huppim, and Ard. These were the sons of Rachel and Jacob, the number of Jacob's descendants through Rachel was fourteen. The son of Dan was Husham. The sons of Naphtali were Jaziel, Guni, Jezer, and Shilion. These were the sons of Bilhah, the servant given to Rachel by her father, Laban. The number of Jacob's descendants through Bilhah was seven. The total number of Jacob's direct descendants who went with him to Egypt, not counting his son's wives, was 66. In addition, Joseph had two sons who were born in Egypt. So altogether, there were 70 members of Jacob's family in the land of Egypt. Jacob's family arrives in Goshen. As they neared their destination, Jacob sent Judah ahead to meet Joseph and get directions to the region of Goshen. And, they, and when they finally arrived there, Joseph prepared his chariot and traveled to Goshen to meet his father Jacob. When Joseph arrived, he embraced his father and wept, holding him for a long time. Finally, Jacob said to Joseph, Now I am ready to die, since I have seen your face again and know you are still alive. And Joseph said to his brothers and to his, his father's entire family, I will go to Pharaoh and tell him my brothers and my father's entire family have come to me from the land of Canaan. These men are shepherds and they raise livestock. They have brought with them their flocks and herds and everything they own. Then he said, when Pharaoh calls for you and asks you about your occupation, you must tell him, we your servants have raised livestock to all our lives as our ancestors have, ancestors have always done. When you tell me this, he will let you live here in the region of Goshen, for the Egyptians despise shepherds. <clears throat> Whew, that was an interesting chapter. Um, that was, it just tells about Jacob's journey to Egypt and how God guides him, guides him all the way through that. And, uh, and, and that's, that's where, uh, and that's where Jacob made his family, and uh, and and that was that. Um, you know, I mean, and the thing about it is, is that God even held Jacob. Jacob didn't even know he was going to go. God called him. God called upon him and told him to rise, and say, to, and that and he said, God. He said, I am God, your father, and. Uh, and he told him, don't be afraid to go to Egypt, for there I will make your family into a great nation. And he guided them all the way through. So, um, that's that's kind of the, the theme of, the, of, the, of chapter uh, 46 in Genesis, is that, you know, God, God, gives him, God gives Jacob this power, and he actually doesn't even give him the power, it's all God's work and God's hands that he sends him to Egypt and makes a family. So, uh, you know, if I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, it's so powerful what God can do in your life. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. If you have, uh, or if if you want to be alerted when I have uh, more videos coming out. And if you uh, if you got any questions or comments, just put them down below in the comment section. 
All right, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.